Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be my April Shop My Stash. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, my March Shop My Stash, I did not use the products a whole lot. Like, I was only working in March for like two of the weeks. And then the last two of the weeks of March, week and a half, basically two weeks, I was quarantine I've been in quarantine now for a w two weeks and like three days and like that like third week of March it was super stressful at work like I felt like that whole week they're leading up to us being on you know quarantine I felt like it was just really stressful so I wasn't I was doing more minimal makeup just like foundation and eyeliner and powder and that normal type stuff I wasn't doing a whole bunch of eye looks. I was just kind of getting myself around, getting to work, and wanting to get home as soon as I can. Anyways, so that with that being said, I didn't use a whole lot of my March uh, products in my stash, but I do want to go ahead and trade them out because I'm ready to um, use some more of my other products and you know just kind of have something fresh to play around with. And yeah, so guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, hit the bell, turn on your notifications to all because we have to do that now here on YouTube. And let's get into it guys. So up here, as you guys know, in these little tiered things, this top one is where I keep my shop my stash items. So I'm going to go ahead and take this down and we're going to kind of talk about the products. We'll just talk about like kind of the face products first. I had this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer in there and I did use this a few times and I have to say it's decent. I feel like it's not quite as good as my Smashbox primer that I use on a daily basis but I do have to say this one is pretty good so I did enjoy it. So I had two foundations in my Shop My Stash and then the Fenty Concealer and I was really wanting to use up this IT Cosmetics one and I'm super close like it's all the way down here to the bottom but this Too Faced one and I was going to try to see if I could see it like the line but I feel like it still has at least like halfway to go so I am going to go ahead and put the Too Faced one back I think I will keep this one in there just to try to keep using it up and then the Fenty Concealer I'm like so close to being done with it. I'm going to go ahead and keep it in my stash as well. Um, I put in this I Heart Revolution Coconut Setting Powder. I would gotten this new in the month of March. Like the beginning of month of March. And I've used a good amount of it. But I have to say I don't feel like I'm the biggest fan of baking. I feel like it kind of sinks into your skin pretty good. But I feel like it kind of leaves a white cast just a little bit and I feel like this is okay to set your makeup but not to bake with so I did learn that about this product but I am going to go ahead and switch out and use a different powder for this month and then I did have my Cheek Stars Reunion Tour palette in here I did use it a few times over this month and it is a really good palette I love the Benefit palettes. I did use most all these shades and they're all really good. Love this palette. A couple of blushes I had in my stash was the NYX one and then the Pure X Barbie one. These ones are both really good. I enjoyed them but I am going to go ahead and put this away. I had a couple cream blushes. Um, I think I used this one once. I don't think I even used my Milani one. I really do enjoy my Milani one. But I am going to go ahead and switch everything out. And then I had my Morphe bronzer in the shade Icon. I did end up using this one quite a bit. And it is really good. I really enjoy this one because it is buildable on me. And then I have my Too Faced. This is the Turn Up the Light like highlighter and complexion palette. I have it in the shade light and I actually really did use this one a good amount too. And then I had 
three eyeshadow palettes picked out for the month. I have my Urban Decay Back Talk. I think I used this once. Sorry. I had four eyeshadow palettes. I think I used the Urban Decay like once or twice. And the Sephora Stories one. That It's in the shade... Caffeine, please. And I ended up using this one the most because it's just a good natural little eyeshadow palette. And as I said, I was kind of doing some neutral, quick, easy looks in the month of March. And then next I have this glitter palette from Kai. I got it from Target back during Christmas and it's just nothing but a glitter palette. And I did use this glitter palette a couple times and paired it with my The Warrior 3 by Juvia's Place. These two did pair really good together. But I did I did end up using this a couple times and created like some nice cute little pink looks. And then I know I had other lipsticks in my Shop My Sash. But the only one that's left in here is the Sephora Stories in the shade Sink or Swim. And <laughs> what happens is my Shop My Sash lip products get put in bags or taken to work. So it might be in my work locker that I'm never going to see for another month. I don't know where it's at. But all that's left in here is this one. And I can't remember what the other ones were. So... I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away real quick and then we'll shop my stash. Okay you guys, so up top here houses my primers and foundations. And I am holding the camera so if it's a little shaky, that is why I can't get my tripod high enough. So real quick, I do want to go ahead and pick out a primer to use this month. And I think I want to use this Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. I picked this up probably like three months ago when it first released and never really tried it out. So I do want to try that out this month. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick out two foundations. I know I want to play around a little bit more with this Believe Beauty one. Um... I reviewed it when I did my Billy Beauty review video and I haven't really played with it since then. So I do want to go ahead and try this out. I got this Clinique foundation for free as a, uh, I think this was a platinum free gift for being an Ulta, being Ulta Platinum or whatever. So I got this Clinique foundation and I got it for free and I think I used it once. But I do want to go ahead and use this one a little bit more. So moving down to powders and bronzers. I didn't end up moving my bronzers over here. They used to be over in my blush drawer. But my blushes have kind of overtaken. So I decided to move my bronzers over here with my powders. So let's see. I think I might use this Becca one. I've used it a good amount of times. This is the Hydra Mist one. And we got it in a BoxyCharm. And I used it a little bit, but it is really nice. So I think I will pull this one out. And then for bronzers. Hmm. So many good ones. I think I want to use this Skin Lights one by Revlon. It is in the shade 115 Sunkissed. I really do enjoy this one. And then I think I will pull out my Marc Jacobs bronzer. This is the Omega in Tantastic. It's, I have had this one for a good little bit. I have a good indention in it, but it smells like coconuts. Yeah, it still smells like coconuts. It's it's a good bronzer. I really do enjoy it. So I think I'll pull this one out and we'll use that one along with the other one. I like having options. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to move back up a drawer into the highlighter drawer. <laughs> and I know what I want to play around with is this one. This is the Not So Boring Highlighter Palette by Kim Chi Chick. I got this in my recent Trend Mood Volume 4 box and used it in the review of the Trend Mood box and 
haven't used it since, but it is brand new. So I want to go ahead and play around with this one. And then I have this Sugar Rush. It's like a jelly. It's called Whip Whipped Gleam is the shade. It's like a jelly highlighter. And I know I have not really played around with this, but I think I want to. So I'm going to pull this one out too. And we're going to go with these two for highlights. Alrighty, and then let's move over here to blushes. Okay, so as I said, I moved my bronzers, which used to be here on this side, and my blushes was over here. Everything was feeling really cramped, and I felt like I couldn't really see what I had, so I was like, forget it. I'm going to move bronzers over there, and this is now all blushes here in this top part of my vanity. And I think I want to pull out this blush palette by this is the cotton candy one by beauty bakery and here's what the shades look like on the inside it's a really beautiful palette and i've used it a little bit got it in the ulta 21 days of beauty last fall so i really think i want to try around with try around play around with this one and then i want to of course pull out a couple cream blushes I used this cream blush the other day. This is the Go Go Tent by Benefit. And it, it was really good. I enjoyed it. So I think I want to use it. And let's go with this next one. It's in the shade Creative Cleanse. I really do enjoy this next blush. Here's what the shade looks like. It's very bright. But whenever you buff it out onto the skin, it's so good. And then, as you all know, I keep my go-to, like, mascaras and everything here in this little bucket on my vanity. And I'm just going to kind of leave that alone. I haven't really gotten any new mascaras except for this Billy Beauty one. And I have been really enjoying this one. And I have quite a few other mascaras in here. And... My current favorite favorite eyeliner is this one by Too Faced, so I'm just going to kind of keep that the same. This stuff I don't really change around very much, so it's kind of hard to change that for my shop my stashes. Okay guys, so I did go ahead and pick out some eyeshadow palettes and some lip products for my April shop my stash. And I wanted to pull out my Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. This palette to me just like screams spring because of all the pastels and I love this palette. I've used it quite a bit and all the shades in here are just beautiful. Here's a close up of what the palette looks like. It's so beautiful. I love this palette a lot. Like I said, I feel like it just screams spring and summer. And then I did just receive these three little troll palettes in my Train Mood box. So I do want to go ahead and put all three of these in my Shop My Stash because I feel like the blue and the purple could really complement each other. And then this one, which is the classical one, is a really good like little nude palette if I just wanted to have an easy go-to look for a day. So... I think these three are going to be good ones. And then the four lip products I pulled out, I kind of like to do two lipsticks, two glosses, and I kind of like to complement a lipstick with a lip gloss. So I pulled out the Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Very Victoria. It's like a nice like little nude lipstick. And this smells amazing. <laughs> And then I thought it would pair really pretty with this L'Oreal one. And it was a summer collection. It's in the shade Shall We Dance. So I really thought that these two would probably pair really good together. Because this is like a nudie gloss and then this is kind of like a nude lipstick. So... I thought these would pair really good together. I decided to pull out like a pinky look. So I pulled out this Ciate Glitter Flip in the shade Trouble. And then this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Peaches and Cream. So here's kind of what they look like. 
now let me arrange everything in my shop my stash little bin and then I will give you guys a quick overview of it. Okay you guys so here is what my April shop my stash looks like. I really hope you enjoy this video. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, like, and subscribe before you leave. And yeah, y'all, don't forget that you are absolutely stunning. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. So check out my Instagram pages at Colorful Gadget or my new brand at Spunky Scrunchies. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, click the circular icon in the middle. Or if you haven't seen my most recent or another favorite of mine, click the one on the top right or the bottom right.